Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is January 1st, 2015. Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, we're here in Bluffton in Hampton Hall, the uh, gated golf community that is so popular uh, with these high-end custom homes like the one we're here to see today. It's number 20 Standhill Avenue. Absolutely gorgeous home uh, with 4,007 square feet. It has a first floor and a second floor master suite. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths overall. It has a covered back porch. Uh, it has lots of um, luxury features inside. Of course, granite countertops, beautiful open floor plan. Uh, I'm, it's really gonna be a treat to walk through this house with you. I'm glad you're, you're here. I think that you'll be rewarded. Uh, and the exterior also has just wonderful uh, curb appeal. Uh, you can see it has a two and a half car garage. We call that little half car garage to the left. And actually that may be a full car garage there. It's, it is, it's actually a three car garage. Uh, sometimes the, the smaller garage has the, uh, is for the golf cart. I believe that's a full car garage there. We have some stone facing on what is otherwise a hard coat stucco exterior. Beautiful carriage lights, as you can see there, to the left along the garage. We have um, a lot of um, detail work in this house that you'll see as we walk through. Let me just show you a little bit about the neighborhood real quick and tell you just quickly about Hampton Hall. We're down here at the end of a cul-de-sac in Stanhill Avenue. It's near the entrance to the community. Very quiet here. Now, Hampton Hall has a private optional membership golf course, a Pete Dye golf course. But for all the community members, there's an indoor heated swimming pool, outdoor swimming. You have hard true tennis courts and hard tennis courts, playground, basketball court, zero entry swimming pool, uh, really state-of-the-art deluxe fitness center, a uh, large community clubhouse with a dining room and meeting hall. Uh, this is really a very popular and wonderful place to live. The annual HOA here, $3,606 per year, includes everything except the golf, which, like I say, is optional. And this is a community for people who are discriminating buyers who want to have excellent recreational amenities, but don't really want to necessarily buy into the uh, private golf automatically or have the highest fees that are available in the most expensive country club communities. But it is a community of custom homes, and uh, you can just see uh, from the looks of this one that uh, this is what uh, Hampton Hall is, uh, has to offer. Well, let's, let's get going. We have a large concrete parking area out here with some brick trimming on our driveway. And we have a few brick steps leading up to that front door. Once again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, ladies and gentlemen, Go Gated Realty, as in gated communities. And I'm the gated communities specialist, both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialists are federally registered trademarks. Now this beautiful home is listed for sale with my friends over at Charter One Realty and Marketing. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. And it doesn't cost anything more for you to have a buyer's agent on your side, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my fee, the fee that I earn, is already in the price of every listed property, paid only at closing, if you buy and if you close. So please call me about your real estate needs, and we'll find the right home and community for you. However, the reason that I've come over to put this one on video is because I do have luxury buyers who are looking for homes in this price range, 639000 and uh, I have found by visiting the home here that this is uh, everything that I expected it to be and possibly more. Let's just take in for a moment some of this exterior detail. Notice that the uh, windows have the arched design at the top with keystones, lots of trim work there in our stucco work on the exterior even before we get into the house. 
We do have vinyl clad windows. The house has all the window coverings included. Here is the stonework that I was telling you about and these beautiful carriage lamps. The house does have guttering and it's really ready to move into it. Now the house is sold unfurnished. We're gonna see a furnished house here, but it's what's called staged, which means that the buyer and the agent have been professional and courteous enough to show us what a house would look like furnished. And of course, I suppose you could offer on the furnishings as well, but they do not belong to the seller. Well, we have a covered portico, keeping our front door out of the weather. Beautiful uh, glass to the left and right of the front door and the uh, arched window overhead. Let us know that we're in for uh, a very high-end custom home with all of this high-end um, detail to the exterior. And I don't think that this house is gonna disappoint you. We step inside to a wood foyer, wood flooring that goes right across from our front door, right across to the living room. And we immediately have this open foyer area that goes up two floors, two stories. Beautiful stairwell up to that second floor master bedroom suite that I told you about. Off to the left is a big bedroom over the garage. We're gonna go up there after we finish exploring the first floor. The master bedroom is off to the left. There is a half bath under the stairway. And there is a bedroom immediately to the right. Let's just take in this uh, uh, house here from the central part, our living section here first. The um, uh, kitchen is open to the left with expansive granite countertops, beautiful saddle brown cabinets, a breakfast bar here immediately in the foreground. Of course, when your guests come over, you know, many people don't get farther than the kitchen. That's the place to go to be informal and meet your friends. Well, the uh, dining area is open to the kitchen and to the living room. Here it is to the left. Those doors open out onto a big covered back porch. We'll go there in just a moment. And our living area is to the right with big, big uh, windows, big casement windows and large upper windows over those casements, high volume room that take you right on up to this really glorious coffered ceiling with the custom painted panels. Uh, lots of woodwork inside those uh, coffers there, giving it a real rich appearance. Real quality uh, throughout this house. Our fireplace over in the corner there is correctly situated so it doesn't obstruct any of our view. You do have built-in cabinets here in the living room. The room is just a wash with light, light and bright and open is what so many of you want. And it's what this builder is offering in this house here, located at 20 Stand Hill Avenue in Hampton Hall. There's a look back towards the foyer, the kitchen, open floor space, Big living room here with the gas fireplace. Actually, it's propane. Hampton Hall is not a gas community, but there's a buried tank. Comes along with the house. And here's a little sneak preview of our view, which uh, takes us past the woods directly behind the house and over to the golf course. We'll get better views here from the back porch when we step out there. Let's do that now. Beautiful crown molding throughout. We'll walk through each of these areas in a little bit more, a little more slowly and with more detail. The uh, big island in the middle there with the flat surface is the new way of building. It's what people want. Let's just take a look at this view. Well, we step out onto this uh, covered porch and you'll notice we have a lot of privacy here with the wooded uh, that's uh, not the yard here it's a common area but it's behind the house you have the uh, built-in fans here two of them on the back 
deck or back covered porch, some built-in planters out here, which is a nice touch. And for those of you who want to have a screen porch, well, you can screen in that covered area very easily. Here's the view that you have off to the right. That's the, uh, some people call it the signature Hampton Hall Bridge there, which is on the main entry. As you come in to the right, there's a lake, so it's a water view, it's a golf course view. And it's your Hampton Hall Bridge view, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good open space over there with some big sky. And then immediately behind the house, we have this woods. Of course, it's January 1st, so it's the middle of the winter and the summertime. All of this will green up that much more. You do have some sago palms and other landscape here around the house. Here is our covered back porch. And as I said, if you uh, are looking for a screen porch, it's very easy to enclose this uh, by putting the aluminum panels between the pillars. And that's easy to do. Immediately to the right there is your downstairs master bedroom suite. We're going to see that in just a moment. Let's go back inside. Take a look at the light fixtures. Beautiful quality, beautiful quality hanging pendant lights over your kitchen uh, island. And this beautiful uh, granite pattern is uh, not common. It's uh, definitely a premium granite. The wood floors are throughout this living area. Quality is everywhere. All the colors just blend together. And we're told that this actually is an award-winning builder's personal home, where he built it for himself but has not occupied it. We might, might want to find out those details, but your ceramic uh, range top there. On this side, you have your dishwasher that has the cabinet cover to it, the cabinet uh, door, your double sink in the island, open to your dining room and your living room. And over on this side is our uh, refrigerator. Again, it looks like a cabinet, but lo and behold, it is a refrigerator and it's the Gen Air brand. Well, off on this side is our downstairs master bedroom. Let's go there now since we're over here. And immediately this is to the left of the uh, entrance and to the back is our bedroom. Notice the archway, arch passageways that we have here, several of them on the first floor. And we saw that theme introduced architecturally on the exterior with that front bedroom on the arched windows and we see it sequence through the house very tastefully. Behind me is the master bedroom closet but directly to the back here is our master bedroom and it has a beautiful uh, set of doors at the back here, tray ceiling or a recessed ceiling overhead. The custom paint is very attractive. Big room, well illuminated. This room also shares the view that we saw from the living room and the porch here, so you can step out if you want. Start your day with uh, a view like this every day. Not a bad place to start. This is the downstairs master bedroom. It actually is um, uh, a little less luxurious than the second floor bedroom that we're going to see, but of course many people prefer their bedroom on the first floor. Now as we come back towards the suite entrance, we have our master bathroom here on the right. And this is uh, all ceramic. We're gonna see a lot of this ceramic tile throughout the house. It looks like limestone or Saturnia, but it's not. It's actually ceramic tile. You have that on your pool deck, uh, excuse me, your tub deck. Sometimes called a soaking tub. So you see you have that beautiful tile all the way around that. You have a walk-in shower with a glass panel. 
We see the tile going right up the wall to the ceiling with a rain head. Those of you that may not be familiar with that fixture, it's called a rain head. It's like being under a waterfall. It's great. And all of the controls over here, they allow you to use your traditional uh, shower head and wand, or you can divert the water up to the rain head and enjoy that. <laughs> Make your shower ritual just <laughs> whatever you want. That's a big, beautiful shower, ladies and gentlemen. That's a walk-in shower. That's absolutely fantastic. And here's your water closet. Hilton Head commodes often have their own little closet. And this one comes complete with arched doorway to go in there. Well, this is a beautiful bathroom. We have dual uh, basins here in our um, vanity top. We have the uh, paneled cabinets with the beautiful brushed metal pulls. We have uh, granite with under mounted sinks here, porcelain sinks with the custom dark hardware. That's what so many of you want. We have uh, the wall lights mounted onto the mirror, onto the fixed wall mirror. And what a great bathroom this is. Two uh, big windows bringing light into that bathroom. And as we progress here past the entranceway into the suite, we don't want to miss this wonderful detailed recessed ceiling here. It's actually a double recessed with just outstanding woodwork showing a real touch of luxury light fixture here. This is really a glorious bit of detail work and into our walk-in closet here which is a little bit more mundane with the wire shelving but I like closets with windows bringing in the natural light We have panel doors, we have lever handles. This is a look then from the master suite back across to the foyer through another arched passageway. Since we're on this side of the house, let's just follow the hallway to the front here. We have a storage closet on the right. We have a large storage closet on the left. We have a large and luxurious laundry room that would be the envy of anyone. They don't just get, they don't get much better than this, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful tile floor laid diagonally. We have high quality cabinets. We have a Corian countertop here. Plenty of room to uh, <laughs> fold your laundry and full size washer and dryer. All the appliances are included. We have the wash bin with the Corian top over here. Beautiful room, beautiful laundry room, and all of this just inside your garage. So as we step to the end of the hallway, we uh, take a few steps down. Here's our garage. And the only thing that makes me think it could be two and a half as opposed to three cars is because that third bay is not uh, full length, but you certainly can get a compact or smaller car in there and your golf cart You have the automatic door openers here, which is pretty standard especially for a home of this quality and price We won't dwell too much on the garage the house does have a whole house vacuum system for those of you that like that Well here we are out to our foyer again Here's our stairway, and then just to the uh, side of the stairway with this uh, very interesting uh, art nook there, or niche for those three pieces of art, is your half bathroom. The wood floor flows right in here too. There's our commode. And on this side we have a uh, custom cabinet with a uh, stone top. Again, the brushed hardware looking good, our wall mirror. Uh, the custom paint color and even a very small hanging light fixture all saying yes yes we are a beautiful house glad you're here make yourself at home enjoy the luxury that we have for you well here's our downstairs bedroom to the right of the foyer arched passageway 
uh, closet here, lots of closets in this house, that's great. And they all, by the way, when you open the door, the light comes on automatically. <laughs> so it's another attention to detail, a nice touch. Here's this front bedroom where we saw the three arched windows from the uh, driveway. This would be, I think, a guest bedroom, or for those of you that don't need it, this would be a perfect location for a home office. Our master, or excuse me, our private bathroom is there. And over here we have two closets. Uh, the one on the right is the same as the one on the left. And they're illuminated. And again, that, win that uh, window, <laughs> the window, the light comes on when you open the door automatically. I mean, who needs a light switch? We don't need that. We just open the door. All right. Well, here's our private bathroom for this first floor bedroom. Notice that the separation is very good. The master's on the other side of the house. So here's your guest room. Beautiful quality, good size, more of this tile laid diagonally. Another soaking tub with a tile deck. Beautiful window over the tub. That's really outstanding. Really outstanding with the, the arch overhead there, the extra detail with the mullion pattern there. Here's our granite top with the under-mounted under, under porcelain sink. Once again, we have the custom hardware. We have a big, big wall mirror here, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely uh, wall light mounted on the mirror. You don't see that much. That's uh, an extra step for sure. And then behind the uh, door here, we have a really magnificent shower. I don't think I need to open up that door for you to see it. It's a frameless shower enclosure with the uh, tile work once again going right on up with a detail accent across the middle. Goes right up to the ceiling. Beautiful hardware there. Definitely uh, outstanding guest bathroom shower and guest bathroom. I think that your guests will be very happy to stay here. We have ceiling fans, we have crown molding throughout. High quality throughout, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, really a great and beautiful home. Well, one last look here at this uh, kitchen area and the dining area. And a look here to the foyer before we head upstairs. Let's do that now with the wrought iron um, <clears throat> pickets. The wood railing taking us up. We're going to uh, go to the bonus or the other bedroom over the garage first. Then we'll come back to this master suite on the second floor, not to tease you too much, but it's outstanding. Well, and so is this bonus room as well over the garage. I'm calling it a bonus room, it's really a bedroom. One of the distinctive things about this is this huge room here to the right. <laughs> this home has a couple of big closets that would be home offices and other houses. And you know, a lot of couples, when we shop, they say, well, we need three bedrooms, maybe four. But you know, what evolves is that they, they both like to have offices. They both, uh, you know, in addition to the guest room. So what we really end up needing sometimes is four bedrooms and an office. <coughs> Excuse me. Certainly, certainly three bedrooms and an office, but more likely it's four bedrooms and this house has all these spaces. <coughs> Excuse me. This is just a beautiful room with the sculpted ceilings, ceiling fans, the arched window over the, the pair of, uh, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the pair of windows there. Each of those uh, doors left and right of the window are uh, uh, doorways into your attic. So you have a walk-in attic. <coughs> All of this uh, carpet looks to be brand new, by the way. I don't know that it is, but it's very fresh and new. This house is really moving ready. Now here's the private bathroom for this uh, bedroom. And again, you have a beautiful tile floor laid diagonally, high baseboard, two big casement windows. We have casement windows throughout this house, which is more of the traditional way of building a Hilton Head style as opposed to the over-unders that you see in so many houses. Here's our shower here. Another beautiful tiled shower without a uh, frame to it. This is worth a look inside because this shower is so much bigger and deeper than it looks. Goes back in there. 
What, what a shower. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lots of tile. <laughs> Beautiful accent piece. Beautiful accent piece. And it has a little bench or a step there, which you like to see your showers have. And again, here's our granite with the undermount sink. The beautiful hardware. Beautiful sconce lights here for your hanging mirror. Beautiful room. Beautiful room. Pocket doors. Good use of pocket doors in this house. Well, the pocket doors, you see, they open and close without taking a lot of space. And they don't swing and get in your way, so uh, I like pocket doors. And apparently this builder does too. So that's our third bedroom. Well, we go up just a few more steps, and here we are. Da 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 da! The second floor master bedroom suite. I think you'll like it. Let's just uh, start with a touch of luxury here. Another double recessed ceiling entryway, which tells us we are entering luxury, a luxury suite. And we are too. Let's just go step on back without further ado and take a look at it. It's as big, or I think really bigger than the downstairs master. Again, beautiful tray ceiling or recessed ceiling with the woodworking throughout the uh, interior of that recess. Beautiful sliding glass door across the back with the transom windows above. Lots of light coming in. This is a beautiful room and a beautiful balcony. Second floor balcony here with the wrought iron railing. It's completely covered. Ceiling fan. Again, you could enclose it if you wanted, but that hasn't been done, no problem. And the view is even better up here than from the first floor. And again, our lake, our golf course, and the Hampton Hall Bridge. Well, they are playing golf today. Beautiful day here on January 1st. The temperatures are in the 60s. Uh, just an outstanding day like, uh, and we do have many of these in our winter time here. So I can only encourage you to sell your home and come down here to Bluffton and join us in celebrating our lives and your success and your ability to be mobile and to relocate here to Bluffton, South Carolina. Great place to live. Now, my wife and I, we lived on Hilton Head Island for 36 years. And just three years ago, we relocated to Bluffton. And I'm so glad we did. I have to say that it, I wonder what took me so long because Bluffton is just a fantastic place to live. You have uh, a proximity to the beach, but you just don't have all the tourism. And you get more house for your money in Bluffton. Uh, it's just a great quality of life. You have all the convenience without the tourism in Bluffton, which is not to say anything bad about Hilton Head Island whatsoever. Uh, I love it. I lived there 36 years, but I have to tell you, Bluffton is a wonderful place to live. Well, how about this bathroom? This is our second floor master bathroom suite. Uh, this just doesn't get any better, folks. Uh, duet of uh, windows there, the casement windows over a, a beautiful uh, oval tub. This one is a jetted tub. We are used to seeing now this high quality tile that looks like limestone, but it's really ceramic tile or possibly porcelain with the uh, custom hardware. Again, all your window coverings are included. Beautiful palladian light there. Lovely little chandelier. We have a vaulted ceiling in this bathroom. And we have his and her vanities. Uh, this is, of course, really the, the big master suite for this house. But for anyone who wants to be on the first floor, well, you have that second one there. You have a uh, big walk-in shower there with the rain head. Once again, floor to ceiling tile. We have all the quality we've described in the other bathrooms, just more of it in this one. This is a really, really nice bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. Really a beautiful home. This is kind of our finale, our finale of the tour. There will not be a test. There will just be a sigh, just a sigh of, oh, 
I'm glad I took that tour. Well, we're not quite done. I want to show you this this little room here. This is one of the rooms that could be converted into a another walk-in closet. Uh, we haven't seen the other walk-in closet to the right yet. I guess I'll show that to you first. It's over here. Uh, this is your one of your walk-in closets. This one's all decked out with your shelving. Of course, you can always reconfigure a closet to your own personal taste. This is a very big closet. This would be uh, big enough for most people, I think, both for him and her. Well, you have this one, which is already fitted out. You have this other one over here, which I think is intended to be the other closet for him and her, but it hasn't been shelved. I'm thinking it could, if you wanted it to be, of course, another uh, workspace, if you wanted a little place for a desk and a chair, perhaps a hobby room, or, of course, a closet. Well, let's take a quick look in the attic. And this is a uh, walk-in attic. Lots of luxury when you can walk into your attic as opposed to a pull-down stairway or a hatch. Lots of uh, attic space out here on the floor. The reason I'm here to show this to you is because, uh, and looking under the hood, I guess you could say, it's because not only do you have a lot of storage space out here, but this is a very high volume attic. And the reason that's worth mentioning is because a high volume attic like this, meaning the roof line is way off of your roof, off of your ceiling, is because your warm air rises and when it ventilates out, your ceiling stays cooler, your energy bills are lower, it's a more energy efficient way to build, a more expensive way to build because it's cheaper just to have a shallow roof line. But when you build up high, not only do you have better curb appeal, but you have greater energy efficiency, more comfort inside the house. And that's something that this builder obviously knew and did for himself and for you. I just have to take a second look at this uh, double recess here. This is our second floor master bedroom suite. This top floor dedicated entirely to it. Well, let's just go down and finish up. Uh, I'll give you my contact information as we go. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, Go Gated Realty. And my cell number, and please call any time, is 843-684-2933. And my email address is rich at gogated.com. My website is gogated.com, and you can search all homes in Hampton Hall or in Bluffton in your price range and with the number of bedrooms and so forth that you want at any time. However, I would invite you to write or call and tell me what you are looking for. Let me help you with that because as a buyer's agent, that's what I do. I hear a lot of people tell me that the process of finding the right home and the right community for them is overwhelming. And you know, it doesn't cost anything more to have a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I recommend that you bring in an agent as soon as possible in your process. Save yourself some time. But you know, there's so much information out there on the internet about homes and communities. There's really very little about agents. And so I certainly hope you'll keep me top of mind as you go about thinking about what agent you're going to call to help you uh, find the home and community that's best for you help you negotiate the property, uh, look out for your best interests, refer you to the inspectors and the attorneys and the other professionals that you'll need for the process in general. And I'm here to do all of that with you and for you. Again, I have 39 years of local experience and I certainly would like to meet with you and hear more about your plans. Now this is an outstanding home and it may be that your search will start and stop with this home. I would be surprised if it did because, of course, the buyers that I work with want to shop and compare. So I would definitely recommend that we do that. Just point out one architectural detail that we couldn't see or we didn't see from the second floor is these beautiful buttresses or corbels around the second floor.